Hey folks, time for another Tuesday test drive. I'm here again with my friend Danny at Porsche Center Oakville. Hey guys, I'm Danny. I'm a sales executive here at Porsche Oakville. Danny, we got our jackets off. We're pretty serious today. What are we driving? Today we're driving a purebred sports car and the first sports car other than a 911 to be offered by Porsche in the modern era. This is a 2019 Porsche Boxer. This is the first Boxer to have more than 300 horsepower in a base model. This is also the first Boxer to have four cylinders. So we'll see what the change is from a six to a four. Four cylinders, I think Porsche is gonna do just fine. Okay, so starting at the base of the center console, the most important feature, of course, being the cabriolet roof in the Boxster, as it's one of the integral features of the car, separating it from the Cayman. We've also got our standard sport feature, and a first for 2019, being the standard sport exhaust. That's something that Porsche has brought across the whole 718 lineup. As we move a little bit further up to the passenger side of the cockpit, we've got our cup holders, which Porsche has very well engineered into this very tight cabin, which is why we have our jackets off today. Kind of a neat concept that Porsche has brought in with hiding those uh, very nicely into the cabin. We've got our seven inch touchscreen with connected navigation built into this Boxster here. And moving over towards the driver's cabin of the side of things, we have the RPM gauge right in the center of all the dials. This is classic with the Porsche product. Over to the left being the speedometer. And over to the right side of the driver's gauges, we do have the digital display. You can pull up the navigation as you see on the right hand side there. So it's not really a heads up display option that displays on the windshield, but we do have a nice uh, warning as you don't have to take your eyes too far off the steering wheel or too far off of the road, I should say, before your turn is coming up. Yeah, so this is actually sport mode that we've got activated oh, okay. here in the Boxster now. You're going to get a little bit of exhaust fire coming from the back, a little bit of uh, more dramatics from the exhaust, and then you will also activate sport uh, exhaust with that as well right off the bat. Okay. We've turned that off so we can actually communicate. With the car <laughs> That's always a good thing, yeah. But the, this Boxster is actually built on a relatively similar platform as the last generation, but we made the car extremely fuel efficient with that four cylinder and have more power. So right. it's like we got the best of both worlds with torque happening from 1500 RPM and you get more top end horsepower and you can get 40 miles per gallon. Amazing. Yeah. And, so, and how many horsepower is that four cylinder putting out? So the four cylinder is 300 horsepower and you get about 230 foot pounds of torque. Okay. We are in a sports car, so the fuel mileage regardless, you're not really talking about true, that. True, true, uh, but we're really talking about efficiency. Yes, we are. And, and that's the, the, the key. I always like to say efficiency still can mean high horsepower, high guzzling fuel, yes. but it's efficiently creating 500 horsepower. Yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a difference mm -hmm. between efficiency and economy, I mm -hmm. guess is what you can say. Yeah. So really the 2019s and even 2018s made a big leap forward with having a nice solid deep sound to them and right. it's something that's uniquely Porsche. <laughs> as we get onto the highway here, this is where you're going to find the handling of the car really start to show as we've got the mid-engine platform. I'll be honest, I, I felt the handling when we took our first left <laughs> because if there's one thing about a Porsche I can't help but notice is the feeling behind the wheel as you dial in some steering and how connected the car is to the road. I mean we're doing that off-ramp and it's, it's just like it's nothing to this car. The only downside is traffic, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it would be the only downside in a Porsche. You know, generally the fastest car on the road. I think uh, you can zip around them. Yeah, but I don't want to be a hooligan. At the end of this corner, Stephen, try out the brakes and let me know your impression of them. Absolutely. Oh my god. It's, it's, I just keep thinking Velcro, glue, on rails. Like That's the thing that's really shocking about the Boxster, is that even though it doesn't have a roof, it's still incredibly stable, and it doesn't feel like the car is flexing through the corners like you can get with some cars when you take them from Absolutely. a coupe into a convertible. Often you lose that rigidity from the chassis. Absolutely. But the box does a really nice job of supporting itself. It, it really does, and it's funny that you say that, that uh, the vehicle, for those watching, has a party trick, and that party trick is the top goes down. Yes, it and does. it's funny that it's not until you mentioned it now, I had to be reminded that we were in a car that doesn't have a roof and, and taking corners and braking and all that sort of stuff. This car feels like it's it's made out of one piece of, uh, of, autom of automobile. It just seems so sharp and so tight. And of course, I haven't heard a squeak or a rattle from this vehicle yet. And uh, I, I don't think I'm likely to hear one for the foreseeable future. Probably not. <laughs> So Danny, you're mentioning the party trick on this vehicle, and yes. I am just a hair under 50. 50 years? 50, oh. <laughs> What the hell, I'm supposed to do the zingers here. Come on, man. Jeez, ouch. All right, 
right. So as we're getting going here, we'll just mm -hmm. keep it under 50 kilometers an hour. Okay. And it's pretty cool the way that this opens. Oh wow! Even yeah, while you're that. driving, we got our party trick. That is a hell of a party trick. It's kind of like having two cars in one. There's something about having a convertible that is still in the back of my head, and I don't know what it is because I'm a ginger. So yeah. this is basic. <laughs> this is basically like that's okay. You can just keep some suntan oil like uh, in the glove box. Yeah, and you know set. my Brazilian bronzer, and I'm all ready for Mexico next month, right? I'm, a, I'm ahead of you on that one, man. I tan under a light bulb, so I'm good. <laughs> Gentle acceleration nice. to the speed <laughs> limit. Again with our lovely speed limit, which yes. we never surpass. Ooh, that's a lovely. It's a nice sound, isn't it? That's Let's a very nice sign. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we could still make. Oh, this thing does everything. This is unreal. It's not too bad for a car that only unreal. has a bottom rail. No roof on this bad boy. I know, and that's. I, you can see. Yeah, absolutely. And for the uninitiated out there, when you take the roof off of a car, it just makes the car suspension and everything move just a little bit as it's trying to move. And the thing about this car that is absolutely remarkable is how the top can be off and as you dial in a corner, brake and whatever, like you just, the car is not moving. Not at all. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. As usual, in a Porsche.